everyone. Welcome to our SciTech Lab videos. I'm Emily. I'm Franco. Franco, what's that you have there? Well, I'm actually using pipe cleaners to make different cool shapes for bubbles. And I'd like to actually try them out. So watch. Huh. I didn't see any heart-shaped bubbles there. I didn't either, actually. Well, Franco, did you realize that there's actually a reason you can't make heart-shaped bubbles? What's the reason? Well, it's because bubbles are all about encasing the maximum amount of air in the minimum amount of surface area. That's why bubbles are always going to be spherical, hmm. no and, matter what. And here I tried to make really cool shapes with my pipe cleaners. It still looks good, though. It does. So, I mean, is there any way we can make another shape, though? There is. I brought some pretty cool science equipment with me today so that we can make square and cubical bu bubbles. What do you think of that? I think you might be joking, but go ahead. All right. Well, for this experiment, you're going to need a large bucket of water. You're also going to need some soap solution. Okay, we've used Dawn, but any kind of soap solution will work. All right, you want to mix half a cup of soap solution with your large bucket of water, okay, so that you get this soapy solution to make really good bubbles. All right. Also, if you look inside my soapy solution, you'll see that I have some spherical connectors along with some straight line connectors, okay? We ordered this particular set from Steve Science, uh, Steve Spangler Science, that is, um, but you can actually make your own using straws and toothpicks or styrofoam and Play-Doh, okay? But we're gonna use this one and see what happens. All Are you right, ready, well, Franco? I think I'm ready, show me. All right. So, oh, I see the square. Yeah, right there in the middle. Now, another cool thing is I can actually change the way the square is facing. You ready to see that? Yeah, go for it. So now, my square is facing that way. Cool, Can huh? you change it back? I can. Ta-da! Nice! All right, now, remember I said that we could also make cubicle bubbles. Would you like to see that? I'm not sure how you're gonna do that. All right, well, would you actually help me with this? Yeah. By just holding on to my handle? Oh, oh, we lost our bubble. I'll dunk it back in. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get out my secret tool. This is a small plastic pipette, but I've cut the end off, okay, so that I can use it to blow bubbles. So I'm gonna dunk it, the fat end, in my bubble solution, okay, and I'm gonna blow into the small end. And now I have a small cube in the middle there. That's really awesome. Cool. Very cute. But can we make it bigger? We can actually. Now if I take my pipette again and stick it just inside. You're blowing air right into the bubble, making it bigger. Exactly. Nice. So now we have an even bigger cube. Cool, huh? That's very cool. Well, you know what? I actually brought something that I want to show you. Really? Yeah. What is you it? You can actually put on one of these gloves. Oh, all right. Now, these are cotton gloves. Okay. And the reason we're putting on cotton gloves is that you can actually touch a bubble with these gloves on without popping the bubble. Wow. See, whenever you actually touch bubbles with your hand, the oil in your hand will actually pop the bubble. However, using the cotton glove, we're able to touch the bubble without popping it. Excellent. All right, now let's try it out. Now, I actually need you to use that again. Okay. Oh, oh. whoops. Put a little too much pressure on that one. There you oh go. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Here, let's pass it. Oh. Wow. Pass back. There you go. I think we spent hours on this one. I probably could. <laughs> Well, that's the end of the SciTech Labs videos. Comment below and let us know how you think we did on this video. Also, if there's any other experiments that you'd like to see us try, let us know that too. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I could do this for hours. Yes, you could. Oh no.